Hello everyone! In my previous video where I thought about how I use InShot to edit my vlogs, a lot of you have been commenting kung paano naman ako gumagawa ng YouTube thumbnails ko. I'm going to teach you tips and tricks on how I do my own YouTube thumbnail. Please keep on watching! In this video, I'm going to focus on three things. I have my list here para hindi ko makalimutan yung mga sasabihin ko. First is choosing the photo and making basic edits. Second is highlighting elements in the photos. And third is the text, how I insert text in a creative way. So, so first, in choosing a photo, the photo must be clear. You don't want blurry photos to be your thumbnail. For me to be able to achieve the best form of the photo, I use Lightroom. So we're going to open Lightroom and choose a photo. So this photo is upright. So kailangan natin siyang i-crop for 16 by 9 para maging swak siya sa measurement ng YouTube thumbnail. And then we're going to adjust the highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks. Yan lang usually yung ginagalaw ko. Also yung exposure. And then inaalis ko lang yung yellow tint ng photo. Kasi ayoko ng yellowy tint. Then we're going to adjust the clarity. And also lagyan ng grain para mas maganda yung details niya. Going to save that and we're done. In editing your YouTube thumbnails, for a more aesthetic look, I would recommend that you use the same filter all throughout your YouTube thumbnails. Just like how we do our Instagram feed, diba? Kapag pare-pareho yung filter na ginamit mo is mas cohesive or coherent yung itsura nung feed mo. Mas belong yung mga photos, mas aesthetic, mas magandang tignan sa mga mata. The second editing tip that I use it's highlighting elements in the photo. What I use is PixArt. I'm not a premium user, so yung mga basic lang yung ginagamit ko. So first, is adding a border around the object of focus that you want your audience to uh, give attention to. So how I do this is I use the free crop tool and then click the person icon and it will automatically identify the person in the photo. So what I do addition in addition to this is like um gagawin ko lang na mas sharp yung edges niya so i really highlight ko yung red around the photo and then after mo gawin yon you just save it um and then it will appear as uh as a sticker cut out your personal sticker in the sticker tab but for you to be able to use it we will reopen the photo and then go to sticker tab and then my stickers and then click the cut out that you made earlier and then ilapat mo lang siya dun sa photo after mo mailapat like a puzzle piece then uh, click add the border and then just add the border around the photo um, as thick as you like so you can edit it uh, that way so with that you have already um, placed a border around your object so the next way you can highlight an element on your thumbnail is by using the drawing tool so ginagawa ko to kapag um, i want to make like motion animation motion motion drawings on the object um not uh, although it does not highlight the whole object, it still draws attention to it in a like cartoony way. So I just draw it like that, three lines or like semi highlight around the shape of the of the person or the object that I want to highlight, and that's it. Through PixArt, adding a border around the photo also creates a nice touch for a youtube thumbnail so just click at the border and then you can choose a lot of colors uh, different colors in the color wheel you can mix and match and then um just adjust your desired thickness and you're done so the third and last thing is adding texts to your youtube thumbnail so for this i also use pixart 
Pero sa PixArt kasi, limited lang ang font. The fonts that I use are the simple ones lang. So, if you want to make your thumbnail more appealing, um, use simple fonts. The simpler, the better. So, the first way to add text, which is my favorite way, is add shadow. So, you just add text and then go to shadow, set the blur to zero, set the opacity to 100, and then you just control yung positions niya based on the arrow. Mas maganda kung mas malapit, mas intact yung shadow, mas madikit dun sa text, mas maganda yun. And then just choose the color and you're done. The next way to add a text which is appealing is to add a space apart for every letter. Very simple. Very simple siya, pero it's a nice way, it's a nice touch to give a give a character to your YouTube thumbnail. So, next way is magazine cover effect. Ito yung ipaplaster mo yung text dito. And then, kapag may text na humarang so for example, ulo, is i-delete mo yung portion ng text. Madali lang. So, you just add the text, just lay it, lay out kung saan mo ka gustong ilagay, and then, click the eraser button, erase mo lang siya dun sa portion na ayaw mong nandun siya. And then, you're done. Tip ko rin, if you are using multiple words in a title, is that take time to combine different kinds of fonts. It gives a nice character to your title and also it's pleasing to the eyes. It gives a dynamic touch. You can layer fonts, you can use different effects, different colors, as long as magkaiba yung dalawang font para mas ma-appeal tignan. Also, on PixArt, maganda yung feature ng stickers nila. So, please do utilize that kung makikita nyo. Just click on stickers, search, and then marami kayong makikita doon. Like, arrows na minimalist. Hindi siya yung maarte or like loud stickers. You can choose minimalist stickers that appeal to your uh, thumbnail. Marami dyan as in. It's surprising how much you can use for free. Alright, so that's it for the basic things that I do to make a basic and easy YouTube thumbnail. I hope that you have learned something. Kung may tanong pa kayo, please do comment down below and sasagutin ko yan. And kung hindi pa kayo nakaka-subscribe sa channel ko, please do subscribe and please do like this video for more. Thank you for watching!